So yeah, might as well go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see, this week we shipped the latest um, uh, new viewer, which is the uh, new user experience changes, um, some some cleanup on the UI, and also the new guidebook. Um, so hopefully that stuff is all behaving itself now. Um, don't know for sure what the next release is going to be, but my best guess would be it's probably the the main F. Um, I think this latest release also included our uh, voice fixes, so I'm hoping that that will finally put a nail in the uh, voice dropping issues, but uh, I'm sure if it doesn't, people will let us know. Um, Let's see, what else? We've got a few other things in the pipeline. Uh, there's uh, the fix that enables um, Mac notarization, so you don't have to go through various hoops to allow you to run uh, our, our viewer. Um, and we've still got the uh, simplified cache uh, that we need to get back in the queue. We've had a bunch of stuff kind of blocked on QA recently, um, just some other other things took higher priority. So uh, I'm hoping that as we do the latest batch of merges, we'll be able to uh, get more of that stuff uh, out into RC and continue its way its way down the track. Let's see. Uh, Tommy, do you want to say anything about uh, state of uh, graphics bug investigations, any of that stuff? Yeah, sure. Uh, what you've been working on, Levy Under 6, which is the next round of graphics fi fixes. Uh, so that's coming along. I still think we have a few left here to do, but uh, making progress there. That's about it. All right, uh, let's see, I don't see Grumpy here, she may, oh yeah, the, hopefully we've got the Bendy Horizons fixed, that would be nice, that's been kind of a nuisance for a while. Uh, let's see, I don't see Grumpy here, so what's going on in uh, TPV land, you guys doing any uh, uh, new updates or anything? Oh, more FPS is good. Are these changes that are specific to Mac or, or general improvements? Yeah, we should probably do some uh, evaluation of the quality settings. I know there's a lot of controls, uh, some of which can make a big difference if you happen to pick the right ones.
Oh, Alexa's here too. Alexa, any uh, any other updates we should talk about? Okay, well, we'll let her jump in if she has a chance. Um, let's see, anybody else have new updates coming out? We got, let's see, Firestorm, likely to spin new builds, second and hopefully final beta. Um, so what are you pick, uh, Beck, what are you picking up for for the next build? Is this, uh, uh, is this just bugs that have turned up in the course of uh, previous testing, or are you bringing in anything else from... Uh, from our side. Okay, got it. Sorry, I'm late. Greetings! Friendly greetings! <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, I missed obviously the first 8 minutes and 47, 48, 49 seconds. Um, yeah, so uh, we're cutting off at uh, Love Me Render 5. We are in our QA process. We are trying to get a release out. We have several Mac blockers that uh, are not getting addressed, and that's our current hang-up. Um, ETA <laughs> soon. I recognize that ETA. <laughs> That's a very popular one. It seems to be a recurring theme at this location. Uh, so we have a, a logout crash on Mac. Uh, we've got voice issues with Mac. Uh, is it the same? Is it the same voice issues? Same voice issues we've been having. Uh, and have you guys? Do you know if the fixes that we have, the voice fixes we have, fix your issues? Forty-two. Uh... Okay. Yeah, and, and generally we don't cherry pick um, unless you guys have released it because uh, you know what always has happened in the right. past. We'll cherry pick, and then you guys will make changes, and then because our release cycle is a bit slower, <laughs> just a bit. Uh, no, I get that. Um. So I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not sure if it's the same issues, anyways. Okay. Okay, well, it would be fair game if you wanted to pick up the voice, but I understand you've got to draw the line somewhere. Thank you. Um, yeah, it, it's possible. It's possible I, I just may push this release out with <laughs> a very poor um, review from our Mac users at this point. We did put main to f out uh, as a project viewer, and that does have the fixes in it. Let me get you a link. Didn't we pull it into to Nux as well? If if we did, then it should be in release now. Uh, let me check that. Uh, Kitty, look for the uh, issues assigned to Tanya. I, I don't have the Jira open at the moment. Where's really? Oh, did Ansa merge that? 
Let me refresh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, looking at Jared, it looks like we do have the voice fixes in. in uh, yeah, we do. Dan just screen. confirmed. Nice. And Beck, is, that, right. is that what answers merged? That's going to need some a whole new QA now. Okay. That might be one issue. So I wouldn't expect the, you know, our voice issues to to have any sort of Mac specific uh, aspect, since it's just a change to the settings for for Vivox, but uh, it's it's certainly conceivable that it would be worse for some reason. I know across the board, regardless of system, it was a night or day. Uh, uh, night to day change for our users, especially Linden's. Um, we had people that were notorious uh, like Grumpity and Patch that constantly cut out in every single meeting. Um, and once we all updated to the voice viewer, uh, none of us had problems. So I'm hoping that can fix a portion of your Mac users potentially. I wish I could figure out how to use Jira. Oh my God, I hate Jira. What? <laughs> I just, oh my God, I Whirly can't would just have a uh, heart attack hearing that. Well, that's that's why we have Whirly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think knowing how to how to use Jira will make you like it any better, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just can never find anything in the bloody thing. We we have far too many Jiras. That uh, really is a Jira bot, <laughs> absolutely. With a like a almost photographic memory for Jira numbers. Seriously, oh, it's frightening. No, yeah, it's something wrong with that girl. Thanks for the filter looking. Uh, I would almost... Actually, before I say that, are there any Mac users here? Because <laughs> I just want to, all due respect, <laughs> can you even have them? <laughs> I mean that in the no nicest, nicest, most respectful, respectful way. Oh dear, <laughs> sorry. And we are we are being filmed, uh, Pantera. Please, please. Bleep that out for me. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time I stuck my foot in my mouth. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Alex, any other announcements we should uh, talk about this week? Uh, let's see. We said Nux had just gone out. We've got Maint uh, F out. Uh, m wow, Main F is uh, jam-packed. We've got about 50... Is about 45 fixes, a uh, few uh, feature requests in it. Uh, 
Let me look at the numbers with this so far. Now oh, it's filling slowly. Um, but yeah, it's only at 60, it's at 64%. It needs a little bit more. Um, we're looking at main F most likely being the next uh, viewer for promotion. Uh, and uh, Vera and I were talking this morning to see uh, what else we have in our backlog. And if uh, one of the things we're trying to do is find suitable uh, candidates to merge together, um, both in attempt to help uh, reduce the number of QA cycles that we have. Um, it also benefits you instead of having a bunch of uh, viewers to constantly merge up. Um, we'll be doing uh, the merging for you. Yeah, that should, helping. That that should that will potentially also kind of save our us cycles. a lot of um, QA QA time and and just fewer. So it used fewer to be, releases. yeah, it used to be you guys did, um, you know, a viewer every two weeks or so, and uh, now it's it's like constant releases of viewers, and it's very difficult to keep up, uh, which obviously f makes us fall further behind as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we've we've been doing faster than every two weeks, but um, it's you know, I realize it can still be difficult to keep up. Um, Lately, I, I think we've really been falling a little behind what we were shooting for. But if that's um, okay, if we can do some sort of merges in flight, then <laughs> take your time. You're, then you're not necessarily going to see more, uh, you know, viewers getting promoted. They're just they're gonna, each one's just going to have more stuff in it. But really, for that system to work, we need to have a, a large pool of RCs out that we can, uh, uh, you know, potentially combine. So we're we're going to have to get some of our uh, pending things kind of unstuck before we can get in that state. So currently, you guys have uh, multiple multiple viewers in play at any given time, candidates. Um, and then you, so you're just following behind. I get it. Yeah, a, a good example. I I'm looking at our viewer pipeline. We've got uh, mate builds going out to mate L. Uh, as we pull in fixes, we look at what the next viewer going out is. Whether it's too late to merge in more fixes. Uh, so we've normally got quite a few mates uh, in the running along with special project viewers. Right now we've got like 13 wow. that are in some stage of uh, being built and worked on. And a lot of them are, are you know, just sort 15, of in, sorry. in a sort of a <laughs> semi-reasonable state, but they're not actually all the way to RC yet. So they're not things that are, you know, potentially promotable or mergeable. Um, so we've got to got to start to to get some of those guys shifted out um I, I talked earlier about the uh the mac notarization that that would be one example um and we've, we've got some other kind of compiler related changes queued up in another viewer as well
Uh, yeah, I mean, Beck, I, I can talk about the viewers, you know, we have that aren't out in RC yet. I, I do to some extent, but uh, too much detail probably isn't going to be very useful. You know, if we haven't got to them, to the, if we haven't gotten them to the stage where, um, you know, we think they're ready for RC, then there's not that much anybody else can do with them anyway. But yeah, I agree that uh, having having those kind of pipeline blockages is uh, is a real impediment. Oh, something, the company something. agree to implement mirrors. That, that sounds good. She, uh, uh, we'll be looking for the pull request on that one. You guys are uh, pretty sure I made it clear, but I'll, I'll just double check that I made it clear that um, our mirrors implementation is, for lack of a better word, uh, lacking a lot. <laughs> um, so it needs uh, pipeline stuff, which we can't do. And uh, so, uh, just to, to point out that um, we're happy to contribute it, I don't think it can go out as is. It doesn't work with ALM enabled, for example. Um, it needs Linden Love. Okay, that, yeah, ALM is a big one, because uh, that's, I mean, that's pretty much what we're shooting for as the default. We're not especially shooting for even supporting the older stuff in the long run. Um, so yeah, well, that's that's a discussion I, I'd be interested in having. Um, uh, you know, oh, I, I don't uh, think. Uh, yeah, Beck Beck is gonna. <laughs> does not show materials. Okay. It, ALM has, you know, it, it's it's not perfect. Beck, do you know if we, Lyndon, has the JIRAs necessary to identify the things you need in order to implement mirrors? I, actually, I believe that was in my, um, there we go. Is that it? That's the one. Okay, and the information is in this is still uh, accurate, i.e. current? I don't know about that. Okay. Is, um, uh, yeah. Thank you. I mean, do you have a recent build including this stuff, or is it uh, okay? No, I can I can ask uh, I can ask Z to make one. All right. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, uh, uh, it's a it's a it's a longer range thing. or not. It is. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know actually what we're going to do with mirrors or exactly what Grumpy said, but um, anyway, the. Um, uh, you know, if, uh, obviously we've got a lot of other stuff going on on the on the graphic side, and I'll have to, have to see how things okay. go. And I put myself as a watch. Uh, I put myself as a watcher. Um, would you mind shooting me an IM when any uh, necessary updates are added to that, and I can start pulling the information internally, um, so that we can take a look at it. I'm going to ask, and yeah, of course, we'll do that. I'm going to ask Z right now if she can uh, do a current build. Uh, of course, you guys want that on the Linen Viewer? I, I don't know if we want the Linen Viewer or not. We'd have, to, <laughs> we'd have to look at performance impact and all that other good stuff. If there's a if there's a real implementation to uh, you know to to talk about though, then we can certainly have that discussion.
Uh, yep, yeah, agreed. People do always want more. Yeah, let's just get the car. Let's get the car in the driveway and not worry about the pinstriping and the you know window decals right now. Yeah, but I mean, if it doesn't work with ALM, that's we probably wouldn't ship a feature that was fundamentally incompatible with ALM because you know that's that's our standard graphics mode. So um, you know we we probably would need to to talk about where that, that constraint is. Doesn't work with ALM. From. I think Beck's point is bomb doesn't support materials. Oh, I see. Yeah, um, I, I mean, I don't understand exactly what you mean by doesn't support materials. You just mean that like materials don't show up in the reflections? Huh? I, I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to see that in action. So you, so you can have ALM turned on, and you know your mirrors will still work, but you just won't see materials in them. It's like the materials are vampires or something. Okay. All right, well, we don't need to hash this all out here, but uh, yeah, you know, happy to, happy to discuss. Would people be happy, or would they just complain about not being able to see materials? The people, in my experience, the people who are happy, uh, you don't hear from them. You hear from the people that aren't happy. <laughs> I think that's pretty much a universal, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, when we release something and, and <clears throat> we have all this complaining and bawling and hawing and, and all of that stuff, um, I, I look at the percentage of those versus the population of our user base, and I think, oh, they're just the minority. Yeah. What's your take on what most people want to use mirrors for? Um, you know, are they are they actually like for look for looking at themselves in the mirror, or is it for you know reflective surfaces of other types, you know, shiny floors or whatever? <clears throat> um, show me. And I, of course, I know Second Life is not a game. <clears throat> Show me a game that doesn't have mirrors. Uh, and and I, I'm not. Uh, I'm just saying, like here at Linden Lab, <laughs> here at Second Life, we're trying to make it look uh, realistic. Um, and uh, you know, even if it's just out of the corner of your camera, having a reflection there is is, I think, goes a long way towards mirrors. So there is actually a lot of use cases for mirrors. Hmm. Yeah. Um I mean, yeah, games without mirrors, there's there's a whole lot of games without mirrors. Um I've I've been surprised the extent to which, you know, even in you know, newer newer generations of games uh uh you know, 20 30 years after the first uh you know, FPS type games, they still, uh, you know, they're still <clears throat> avoiding reflective surfaces. Um, Minecraft amazes me. But, uh, you know, they're, obviously there are places where they where they do have it as well. Would a, a patch that works against the Linda Viewer be all right? Uh, yeah, I mean, if we had a patch that works against Linda Viewer, we'd have to be happy to take a look at it. Okay, so he's going to work on that. Oh, okay, that'd be great. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the um, <clears throat> so Linux Lab goes for some pretty big features, uh, and so does Firestorm in the past. Um, been my experience that sometimes it's the little features that make the biggest difference. So, <clears throat> like it, it, you know, it, it may seem like mirrors is a is a narrow use case, um, 
but sometimes it's just that tiny little thing and that makes a big difference in the user yeah. experience. Yeah, and I realize no, I the mirrors uh, is not a tiny thing to do, unfortunately. Yeah, no, I, in I, my experience with, with what makes a difference is that it's it's very hard to predict, you know, people... Yeah, of uh, course. What, when we, we'll, we'll come out with something we're really excited about and it'll just kind of drop with a thud or we'll have some minor thing that people get really excited about and you just never know. Uh, there certainly uh, was a lot of excitement, um, you know, when, when we were when Z was working on mirrors. And because uh, back, th that was back at the time when we were still doing the Phoenix office hours, uh, where we basically invited the community to come and, and ask me anything kind of thing. And uh, just the mention of mirrors, <laughs> people lit up. Like it was it was a big deal to people. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, the, the concerns about performance are, are not in jest, even though we've had a lot of uh semi-frivolous discussions on the topic over the years that you know, we see a, a huge performance impact from reflective water now of course even in regions where there's no water visible so you know obviously that's a that's a missing optimization on our end but the fact of the matter is that it's there um and uh you know if uh if you see if we see equally uh you know large impacts from uh you know, mirrors well, that are using a similar framework. Then I, I um, would never, I would never suggest, uh, even remotely suggest that mirrors be a default on, um, but be an option that a user could turn on. As she points out, photography machinima is very big in Second Life, um, and uh, mirrors is like if you're trying to make a, a machinima film of some kind, you could do a lot of creativity. With, with the ability of having mirrors. Performance, yeah, that's gonna bite the bullet, most likely. Um, it'll need a lot of optimization. Um, and so I I wouldn't suggest that it's on by default, just like I don't think yeah, I, you know, I agree with graphics that. should be enabled by default. But if you wanna use it and you understand that that's your right. rays are gonna drop, and but you're still able to get the cool picture or do what you want, then it's a personal choice. I mean, yeah. My personal choice is I run my machine full out with full draw distance and everything on, um, and sometimes I suffer from it and I have to adjust it. But you know, being well, able to choose for yourself, I think you know is a good thing. Some people are happy with one frame per second if it's a really good frame. I mean, I don't. It's uh, that's probably a fair point. Um. Oh, uh, another thing we should probably mention, we've got a new uh, new feature underway um, that hopefully some people will, will find interesting. This is um, this one we had a project viewer out for a long time ago, but it hasn't been updated recently and uh, has, has just started to get some new attention. Um, but it's uh, the 360 panorama viewer basically allowing people to take uh, 360 shots of uh of their uh their environment um as well as uh <laughs> <Dang. laughs> the difference in the viewer this time around is last time if you, you remember it uh made the images for you but you still had to uh export and stitch them together to get the to get the full panoramic picture um that's being dealt with this time yeah. um and I'm really excited about this. Yeah, I think it'll be neat. Uh, oh, actually, Callum is here. I see. Um, Callum, you want to talk about it a little bit? Callum is the the person who's been uh, uh, proposing this viewer for a long time and is uh, going to be working on it now. Yeah, we finally um, found some time to make it go ahead. I mean, I, I, there isn't a whole lot to say yet because I haven't actually started on it. At the moment it will come next week. But as Alexa mentioned, it's going to um, export the EQR images directly, and it'll embed uh, the right kind of metadata in those images so that you can drag and drop them into a bunch of different sites like Facebook or Flickr, and it will know what to do with them and, and display them accordingly. Um, I think I, the, there was two problems I wanted to solve. One was that I had to turn off the security settings in the browser to allow the local web page that does all the magic to um, load the images. 
and I've figured out a way around that, which is good. And then secondly, um, the big problem with it was that uh, you could never be sure that everything was going to arrive from the server. You know, the way that we that the interest list works, um, it's constantly culling stuff out to keep things keep things moving, and we were fighting against that to get the full 360 view. But we're going to get some help from the server side folk, and so there'll be a way we think to say, okay, just send me everything temporarily, and then tell me when it's all here, and then at that moment we'll um, capture a 360 and then go back to normal. So I think that will really help the quality as well. Um, and, you know, things won't pop in and out, and everything should be there. But we'll see. It's very much a work in progress, and it starts on Monday. Um, Sounds very cool. Excited to see how it all comes together. Yeah. I wonder if that'll work in um, VR picture viewers, because I, I know this. I don't want to bring up VR, but <laughs> I know that VR. Um, you can look at 360 images uh through vr basically the image sta stays static and your head moves within it and uh that's pretty cool yeah one of the um i don't know how much about the various processes we have in place now um, we can talk about but um one of the stretch goals as part of that process is to create a 360 a, a vr viewer for these images i mean there are probably lots out there that you can just go to a website and drag one of these images onto uh, the page and then start up your VR headset and, and view it. But if there isn't, then it's something I know how to do and have experimented with. So I think that'd be that would be really, really cool, I think. Um, so we'll see. It's a stretch goal, of course, and it may not make it, but it's definitely something I'll work on in the off hours because I think it, it would be really cool. But it, I, I but think you might have trouble with interest list because it, it, when your camera's facing one way, what's rendering behind you is not rendering. Well, that's exactly the problem I was referring to earlier, yeah. Right, okay, yeah. And all that, because the way it works, it captures six images, north, south, east, west, up, down, and then it stitches those together in the right way. And as you say, if you're facing north, the viewer and the server combined are you know, doing everything they can to not not pull anything in that's behind you because you can't be seen. So we have to get around that. Um, and I think we know how to do it. It's just a case of how good it ends up being. Um, and uh, I have Simon uh, working on that with me, so he knows what he's doing. So I'm wonderful. Glad. And I see writers talking about. So are you guys making changes to interest list, or is this just specifically for this viewer? Uh, yes, we're making some some changes to. Uh... Under under certain some, uh, conditions, you can say, turn off the interest list and give me everything. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, I mean, there's there's always the concern that uh, that you know our our residents tend to think more is better. Yes, of course. And and we'll uh, do something like turn it off and and go to turn you know turn turn off the interest list and, <laughs> and go to a club. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's no there's no room for abusing that. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, uh, I, I just uh, you guys have worked on interest list in the past, going back many years. Um, it, it has rarely uh, ended well. Uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully this change will go fairly smoothly. Um, it, it sounds like if it's just a, a matter. of toggling off yeah. then it's pretty simple i i have some other interest list things that i would like to do but uh they're they're not part of this at all so hopefully just send everything is easier than trying to change what kind of selective you're being in theory well that depends on which <laughs> part of you uh elizabeth <laughs> Uh, I had a, another question, completely unrelated. Um, I haven't seen Monty in ages. Um, ages ago, Monty was uh, starting to look at hash. Is that still something he's working on? Uh, sorry, he's looking at, at what? Uh, 
cache fixing or trying to fix the many failings of the cache system. You mean on the on the simulator side? Uh, viewer and simulator. Yeah, uh, we don't currently have him for any viewer work. I, I'm not sure what he's working on uh, currently on the on the simulator side. He may have given up. Can't blame him. Yeah, there is there is some viewer cache work that uh, uh, that Callum did. That's that's viewer 519, which we're uh, trying to get up back out into RC soon. Uh, let's see, for the mobile viewer, um, I mean, we changed a bunch of messaging to go from uh, you know, UDP-based uh, to, to, uh, to not. Um, so uh, I'm not sure exactly how it affected the chat. I think that, that may just be kind of the how the, how the basic packets are getting trans ported rather than having like a new I, I don't think it's actually like a new HTTP API for for chat although that's something that would be uh, would be nice to have at some point Right, or do you know anything about the current state of chat work, or if that's uh, on the uh, we're, we're, on the pile? Yeah, it's well, it's perpetually on the pile. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I don't believe there are any big changes. You know, any big changes coming? Um, anecdotally, I've noticed it seems better but uh that's that you know i have no data to back that up i i, I was assuming that uh beck is referring to uh to group chat yeah yeah 
Well, I mean, Discord's also something. Discord is also it's it's a product devoted to chat to chat. So they they're gonna always have features that we don't. <laughs> That's a great echoes. idea. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna send an email to Discord. We want mirrors. So is, is your experience with chat problems uh, cases where it's group chat kind of failing at, at scale, like the large large groups are falling over, or is it more general that you can have problems with any size group?
some of you may remember many years ago, IRC was implemented in the viewer. Maybe we could implement Discord. I was only half joking. Okay, well, I, I, I hear you, and I'll pass it along. Um, uh, obviously, most of the folks uh, at this meeting are, are working purely on the viewer side, so it's a little outside our scope. Um, uh, possibly Ryder or the simulator folks would have uh, more comment about it. Um, but uh, anyway, I think we should probably wrap up for this week. We're about at the end of our time slot anyway. So have a good weekend all, and I guess have a good we'll weekend. talk to you next time. Thank you, everyone. Feedback. <laughs>